Enamel is the hardest material in the human body. So why do teeth break? Many believe the cause is biting something too hard. But that doesn't explain why so many people say their tooth broke while they were eating something soft, like a bagel. Or even a lettuce salad. There's actually a lot of reasons that a tooth can break. Number one is over fatigue of the tooth. So essentially that you've chewed with it one too many times. And especially if that tooth has had a larger filling in it, it can develop some cracks around it as it's getting fatigued and those cracks can propagate, they can join up and eventually a cusp can be lost. That's one way that teeth can break. The other way is actually not due to a crack at all, but rather, something called a cavity. You guessed it. And these cavities, they're sneaky things. They start between the teeth. And the problem is you would have no idea. No idea, not even a clue that that cavity was there unless your dentist had picked it up on an x-ray. The issue is those cavities, they grow and grow and grow. And it's essentially like having a rot in the foundation of your house. If that rot, you know, continues to destroy the foundation of a good house, well, eventually, you know, you're gonna get a sinkhole happening because as you step on the area that's no longer supported by the foundation, things break apart. And that's exactly what happens with tooth. You know, the, the rot or the decay gets in underneath. And then as you're chewing on the enamel up above, it's like the roof caves in. And I am going to show you a very interesting case of exactly that. We wanna get all of the decay out, but at the same time, we don't wanna traumatize the nerve of the tooth. So I'm being very careful with the microscope here to only remove the decay that we need to. We leave a little bit of leathery dentin over the nerve itself to preserve its function. Then I particle abrade the dentin and seal the most vulnerable parts with something called Unisem 2. It has one of the better seals to dentin on the market. Then I refine the prep and we get ready to fill. I'm moving the rubber dam out of the way to access some deeper parts of the prep. I use a sectional matrix, a wedge, and a trio dent V3 ring in order to make sure that everything's sealed and that we've got a good situation for bonding. Just cleaning up a little bit of the margin here and we'll be ready to go. If you want more information on bonding, I have a video on that. You can check it out here. Now, keep in mind that this tooth isn't out of the woods. Even after we bond it perfectly and do a great filling, there's always a chance that it could require a root canal in the future. But a lot of times, these heal surprisingly well and last and last without needing a root canal. So that's what we're keeping our fingers crossed for here. We build it up layer by layer just so that the material doesn't shrink too much because every time we hit it with that light, it does shrink a little bit. So if you just do one big blob, it doesn't work. The tooth's never going to look exactly like it did before, but we can get it pretty close. After we take everything off, we can see that things are looking pretty good. We have some last finishing touches and we just polish everything up. And as you can see here, our broken tooth is all fixed up, all without the need for a root canal. Well, there you have it, folks. Now you know why teeth break, how we go about fixing a broken tooth, and that's pretty much it. But, if this video made you laugh, made you cry, made you want to share it with your grandmother, then make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.